Okay, Blaster fans, here we go. This is, I believe, video number four. Um, we're going to take another light skim coat <clears throat> off the squish band here. Obviously going this direction here out toward me. And uh, just to give you a little bit, see if I can do this a little bit closer is what I'm trying to do so you can see how this works. So, but I'm trying to keep the camera from getting smashed by the head and metal filings in the camera lens. So let's do a quick uh, cut right here. We'll show you what we're doing. Then we'll measure it with the veneer calipers and you want to get it close because like I said before, if you make the band too wide and it's too big in diameter here, you can always take a skim coat off the sealing surface again which will make the band smaller. You still have plenty of room to play with on these heads. They have a ton of material in them. You can do multiple cuts over and over again to experiment. That's what this whole thing is about, to learn something. That's how I started doing this years ago and it's like I just started getting back into two strokes again and these heads on a blaster are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, put it this way, if Yamaha had, if Yamaha, excuse me, had these heads on the blasters when they were new and a little bit hotter porting, you would not have sold as many Banshees. Let's put it that way. These things are so detuned from the factory, it's disgusting. They had to do this so that the younger riders wouldn't kill themselves on it. So, I mean, that's because of the tours, the choked up freaking intake, the choked up exhaust, the crappy head design, and the thing is, still runs like a bat out of hell in stock form. These things are going to be absolute demons demons when you do this stuff to them. So, but anyway, I'll shut up now. We're going to do a quick cut and I'll show you what we're doing. Here we go. Spooling it up. Okay, I've already adjusted my compound or my uh, my long travel in or my um, y-axis. So, all I got to do is cut out. So, we're going to apply the compound rest here and you'll see. And the cool thing about the die cam or any kind of dark material you add like uh, well obviously die cam or marks a lot pen or black paint it gives you contrast so in other words you can see between light and dark you can actually see what's going on which is what we're doing here and it makes it that much more easier to understand instead of just reading written words in a book or on the web etc etc I mean seeing is so much easier right a picture is worth a thousand words well what's a video worth All right so Almost done. We're getting close. The hemispherical chamber is a little tricky. I don't have a radius cutter built yet. I know how to build one, just haven't built one yet. I guess it's laziness or just not enough time. So I kind of basically uh, blend both an X and Y axis cut in here using two knobs at the same time with a rounded nose cutter, and it works actually very well. So I just kind of been sticking with that plan. So let's see what we got here. Okay, we just we're gonna finish this cut. Cool it down. I apologize for the shaky camera. It's kind of hard to do this with just two hands, you know, talk and hand and grab stuff. But yeah, it's working out pretty good. You guys are smart. So, with that being said, if you take veneer calipers and I'll show you. There we go. Two inches, six hundred forty-four thousandths are really close to that. And you come down here, you're trying to get that squish band, it is so close. See that? Probably one more light cut and we'll be ready to do the hemispherical part. So, and you can see where my arbor bottoms out, looks like a spark plug. We're going to cut up to that. I'm going to go download this one. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes.